Most of you believe lies about women. Most of you don't realize how women actually work. And it's because these are truths about women most men don't learn. You don't learn it from your fathers, you don't learn it from your friends, so now you gotta learn it from your older brother. For example, she's not the only one. For whatever reason, this happens, every man goes through this, and I'm not blaming you. Every man goes through a point in their life where they think this is the only girl. You fall in love with some random girl and you're some random small town and you think this is the best girl in the world for you. You think this is, this is it, this is the top, she is perfect, she has no flaws. And that's where you're wrong. If you think like this, I want you to know right now you're wrong. I promise you, you are wrong. Even if you date her, she's not the best. I promise you there are better versions out there. There are more attractive. There's more charismatic. There's more, there are funnier girls. There's girls with less baggage. Like literally, there is a better option out there. And the reason you think of this is because you don't have exposure. Once you start exposing yourself to more women, you realize that that woman you were obsessed with really was just... It was an ego thing, right? For men, it's like a competition. You want to achieve that because it makes you feel good. It makes you feel capable. But I promise you, that's not love. You don't even know this girl. This girl is not the perfect girl that you think she is. Number two, you think she will love you for you. Bro, you have to understand, in the real world, everyone loves another person for ulterior motives and then they justify it with emotion. If you were a bum, a deadbeat, a loser, everything, that girl would not give you the time of day. She's not gonna love you for you because your personality is giddy and you're the best guy in the world. Even if you somehow manage to make her fall in love with you or at least get a first date, I promise you that relationship will last because at the end of the day, she's still looking for a protector, a provider, a strong man, a leader. That's what they're looking for. That's why you need to understand that whole BS that maybe your mom or your parents told you, oh, you'll find the right one. You'll find the one that loves you for you. No, if you can't get a girl, you have to look, take a hard look at yourself in the mirror and not, don't start blaming girls and think, man, all girls are weird or all girls in this area are, no, no. All girls aren't the problem. The problem is looking at yourself right in the mirror. There is something wrong with you. It could be that you're awkward. It could be your own personality. It could be that you haven't built yourself as a man. It could be that you don't have confidence. It could be that you don't have the financial status yet for that. You have to work on yourself and don't believe the lie that they're just gonna love you for you. Number three, that women don't body shame. Which is crazy because they're really self-conscious about their weight, right? They're trying to shove down your throat that overweight women are beautiful. Like literally, that's all I see on my TikTok now. But on the, on the flip side, they will body shame you because of your size. Just because you are not tall enough. You have to understand, again, this is the real world. Most people think, oh, they'll love you for you, you'll find the per No, bro, they will body shame you for your size. Every person has their own personal bias. Now the interesting part about that is that, like I mentioned, everyone has their own personal bias. Everyone has things that they want and standards that they want to meet and you shouldn't get upset about that. You should be a realist about that and understand, all right, that person likes that and then you should also have your standards. I've talked about it before, this is why it's important. Allow them to have their standards. They're still gonna body shame you. You need to have your own. What do you look for in a woman? Physically, how tall, how skinny you want them to be, what physical attributes you should, do you want? You are allowed to have those attributes because at the end of the day, once you start putting standards for what you want, not only do you elevate the confidence that you feel as a man, but they also have to then meet those standards. What happens to most men is that they'll take whatever comes their way, any little bit of attention, and then they start simping over that little attention, even if it's not what they really wanted. I want you to flip your mindset. I want you to be in a position of power. But segment of number four, the female gaze is a lie. I, I don't know if you've heard about this whole female gaze bullcrap that you see on TikTok. It is a fat lie and it got proven recently. I've always thought it was a lie. So the whole point of the female gaze is that what female actually love is not what men think that women love, right? Because men think women love the strong, ma muscular, rich man. They're saying, no, 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 no. That's not what we actually love. You guys don't understand the female gaze. I think it's BS, and it got proven recently. I don't know if you, if you saw it on TikTok, there was this guy called Kevin. He's an ugly dude, like traditionally ugly, but he did this whole confident trend, which I'm putting on here, I'm sure you saw it. It took less than two weeks for Kevin to fall from grace. Now he's a pedo, now he looks like a loser, and all the women just flipped up on him. That's what's gonna happen in your relationship. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Women, even if you do somehow manage to start dating them for a little bit, that falsehood that they're trying to justify in their head that, oh, we're not as shallow as men, that's gonna fall within a year, two years, three years in a relationship, and that's what she'll end up cheating on you. Which takes me to number five. The lie that you have to say the right thing. 
most men believe that it's like some secret sauce, right? That, that it's some secret one-liner, some secret text message that you send to make girls fall in love. It's not so much what you say that makes a girl fall in love, but it's more so how you say it, which is why I talk about confidence so much, right? And there was actually a study about this that talked about what are the best one-liners. And they tried a bunch of, you know, pickup lines, one-liners, etc. And you'll be surprised that the one that got 70% response rate was the simplest, hi, my name is, what is your name? Like, you, you guys don't need to overcomplicate it. What you need to do is understand your own body language. What you need to do is understand how to be perceived as most confident. So what you do is you slow down your body movements, you slow down your speech, and every time you approach a girl, you try that one line. Try with 100 girls, I promise you. 70% of them are gonna respond, and out of that 70%, I guarantee you, you get a date, which ultimately rolls me to number six, the lie that women don't care about looks. And again, women will perpetuate this lie, also make you believe it. It almost falls into the female gaze bull crap. They'll make you believe it because they also wanna believe it themselves. They don't wanna believe that they're shallow, but this has also been studied. See, your physical attractiveness acts like a gatekeeper. While yes, your personality does matter, who you are as a person, your kindness, all of this matters. It's not the discounting this. The point is that if you're an ugly loser and you're a kind guy, you'll still be seen as a creep. They'll still leave you behind because your attractiveness acts as a gatekeeper. If you're not attractive enough for her to even notice you or to pay attention to you, she's not gonna see that you're a kind guy, good-hearted, humble, etc. You have to work on your appearance. Your appearance does matter, it's that gatekeeper.